optical character recognition, OCR, text extraction, bounding boxes, this video has it all. What we're gonna be doing is setting up a very small project using JavaScript, Canvas, and HTML5. And what this project is gonna do is it's gonna take a video, it's gonna send it to the Google Cloud Video Intelligence API, which will retrieve all the text and uh, coordinates of that text for each frame. And then we're gonna superimpose that data over a new video. And the effect we're gonna get is real-time OCR. The the reason you should watch this video to the very end is because that ability to leverage uh, the deep learning models hosted in the cloud is a trend that's not going anywhere. That is on the rise. And so if you learn how to do that and use this as an example, that's just going to be one more tool in your toolkit. Anyways, let's get started. Right. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is download my GitHub repository via Git. So I'm just grabbing that URL. This is all in the description. And on a Mac, we can just create a workspace. So um, actually, let's just do um, git clone. Okay. And then once I'm in here, you want to do, uh, well, you want to make sure you have Node installed. Um, based on what your operating system you're using, the installation will vary, but you can find out how to do that fairly easily. And then you're going to do npm install to make sure you have all the dependencies. And then what I would do is I do code dot and just open this up in a VS code workspace. If you like this video, go ahead and turn that like button blue so we can get this out to a larger audience. Thank you. So this folder has the files that we're going to need to work with here. And the first step here is to take the video and get the OCR data. So I wrote a Node.js script here. It is fairly concise. And all it does is takes the video and passes it to the Video Intelligence API. And we provide some options here. We tell it to give us text detection. We tell it to use frame mode. And then it's gonna give us back a big JSON blob with all the um, OCR and uh, boundary boxes. But the way I like to do this to make it a little bit faster is I like to upload the video to Google Cloud Storage. I found that that works a little bit better. You can reference the file locally, but the problem is um, you have to, then when you execute this code, you have to also upload the file to the server. So it just takes more time than it really should. So let's go over to Google Cloud Storage and upload that video. Okay, so I'm in GCP. And we're just gonna navigate over to storage. And then I already created a folder, but you could create a new folder. There are no special permissions needed. And I'm gonna upload the file. Okay, so I'm uploading that video file that I just showed you. Okay, our file is uploaded, example.mp4. And I wanna grab the gsutil URI, so I'm just gonna copy that. We're gonna come back over to our Node.js script here. And all we need to do is paste this in here. It's already in there, but you'll have to do that for your particular instance. And then we should basically be good to go. So it's going to pull the OCR data and it's going to write it to this subdirectory here called HTML. Uh, and the name of the file will be text.json. And I'm going to uncomment this part here because this part here will read out the labels. So if you want to see that in the console, then uncomment that. So let's fire up a terminal here. And so this is a node file, so we're going to execute node index.js. Okay, so the problem here is to use Google APIs, it needs to know who you are and what account you want to reference. So we do need a service account. So we're going to come over to identity and access management. We'll create a service account real quick. So let's go to service account. 
create service account. So we can just call this text detection. And then for the sake of brevity here, I'm just gonna do basic owner as the permission. Okay, now we have our service account. So we just need to create some keys. So we're gonna do manage keys, create new key, JSON. And then I'm gonna do text detection service account dot JSON. And then basically there's a little trick we can use here. So I created a file called commands.txt. This is the command we wanna to use to start to do npm start, which just runs index.js essentially. Um, and this defines an environmental variable that points to our service account and will give us the um, clearance to interact with the APIs. So let's just get this right. This is an absolute path to our desktop. Text detection, SA, JSON. So this should do the trick. So I'm coming back down to, um, I'm in the directory uh, over here with all the files and I'm just gonna execute this. And remember it's analyzing video, so, so it may take some time. Okay, but we can see the bounding boxes here. I don't know why it doesn't read the actual text, but the point is we have this new file here called text.json, and if we wanna beautify that, this will give us a better idea of, of the data that just came over. So look, number one New York Times bestseller, and then it's all the coordinates for um, for that uh, verbiage over time. And then also the title becoming, Obama becoming. Um, so the text came through and the bounding boxes are associated with that text. So the next thing we wanna do is, the way we're actually going to superimpose this data over the video is using JavaScript, HTML, and Canvas. So that lives in this directory here called HTML. And again, if we come over to commands, uh, uh, the commands file here, the way we're gonna turn this into a server is by using a node package called HTTP server. And it's super easy to use. So all we have to do is um, go back to our terminal here and we just install this. And then I believe we just go into the HTML directory and then I believe we just run HTTP server and it'll just run it uh, live on the command line and it'll tail everything. So this is uh, live on uh, localhost 8080. So in theory, I could do localhost 8080. This is my demo here. So Let's open up uh, the main, so uh, yeah, the main file there. So this is the HTML. There's really not much to the HTML. There's just a, a live updater um, and then a canvas element and then the JavaScript file. This is the JavaScript file here. So basically this pulls the, um, the vision data from text.json and superimposes it over a new video in Canvas. Um, that's all that's going on there. So if we click play, now this is HD video, this is high quality video. So there's a little bit of lag there, but you can, you can play around with the parameters and get it pretty good. But the point is, um, you can see we're getting the bounding boxes around the text and then right near the text, we're adding the label, and it's very accurate. It, it got everything. And it tracks over time. So now we know where all the text is. We know what the text is. We could do crazy things with it, like translate it to other languages and then superimpose that. Um, the, the sky is the limit with this stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for listening.